when we heard about the storm that hit uh, Kentucky, the big tornado, we immediately started collecting food and supplies. Uh, we know it to one. tell you how it happens. When we heard uh, the disaster that happened in Kentucky, tornado on 1210. After done? about yeah. 10 days, we were waiting for the news. from course uh, gives back they said we're ready we'll go with you so immediately we start collecting supplies and uh, we thank so many people Frank Wilkinson's to Margie to everybody who helped us for this uh, disaster relief so we went basically we we rented equipment we went rented a truck and we rented a trailer a truck to stay here back in New York to uh, to continue doing the community, collecting food and supplies and give it back. And uh, the trailer to go back and forth to our headquarter in Pennsylvania. So we did that. And uh, we left a few days ago to Pennsylvania and we start loading a tractor trailer. We, again, we thank uh, Glenn English and Marlene his wife for donating their time and their uh, diesels they did it for free for us you know who will do that only people who love the Lord and good people so and we had Bart and Denise Condon helping us and they drove with us too to Kentucky so after a couple of days of preparation in Pennsylvania we drove to uh, to uh, Kentucky, we got there at night, we slept that night, and we left in the morning. We left to Dawson Spring, and then when we got there, we were surprised with the huge damage. And we took uh, drone footage, we took, you know, and we met with FEMA personnel there on the ground, which was comforting to see that FEMA is on the ground there. And uh, yeah, this is what we do when we can. And this, again, won't be possible without everyone's support. Uh, bless you all. And uh, looking forward to serve more. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Pastor Sue. Just wanted to give a huge shout out to my brother, Eamon, and to Jacob and Alan and the folks from my church at Forest Baptist Church, Marlene and Glenn and their trucking company who hauled almost a full tractor trailer load down to Dawson Springs, Kentucky, and to Denise and Bart Condon, who worked all day Monday uh, hauling things from our church over to the trailer and uh, just worked from 8 a.m. till 6.30 loading up. Uh, thanks to Verna, who pulled out a bunch of stuff that we have been saving, brand new stuff in our basement to send along on the trip, and to the many, many people who gave financially, this trip could not have been done, could not have been successful without you. We thank you uh, to the people near and far who gave donations, and I appreciate you so very much. A few days before Eamon got a hold of me, uh, about a week before Christmas, he asked if I wanted to uh, be a partner in the trip to Kentucky, and I said, absolutely. Just a few days before I had received a call from one of my parishioners that said, isn't there anything that we can do? And I said, well, let's pray about it. A few short days later, Eamon got a hold of me and I said, we're in, just let me know what we can do. Unfortunately, I wasn't physically able to do be on the trip, 
but uh, I, I was what I called mission control from my home on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, able to uh, track down a hotel for uh, the folks that needed to stay. And um, I got in touch with Sherry Nicholson from uh, YAPAC, which is You Are Important Outreach, uh, which is a Christian organization out of Clarksville, Tennessee. And she met them down there and, and everyone was just so very blessed. So I just wanted to say thanks, Amen and Half Table Man, for um, motivating us to be a part of this church and I'm sorry, of this trip. And um, I just hope that other churches are able to step up as well and uh, answer the, the call to be the hands and feet of Jesus. We do this locally, but uh, we need to be ready to help our brothers and sisters across the country when disaster st strikes like this. So um, it was a blessing to be a part of it. And uh, I look forward to further partnership. Hey guys, this is Jacob Scott from Cross Give Back. Alan Schimmel, another member of the organization, and I were talking, I believe the day of December 10th, after we heard about the tornadoes that went through Kentucky. We were talking about what it would look like to to go down and help with a disaster. Um, we didn't know what that would look like or what we could do, but I believe we were willing at the moment. Um, some days went by, I believe it was the 14th or 15th, Eamon Yosef from Half Table Man uh, called me to get a hold of me and um, and he had shared that he was ready to, ready to go, ready to start collecting um, resource for the communities that needed it and uh, asked if Cross Give Back would be interested in going. And we knew that that was, um, that was something we should do. So we did, we left the 28th or, uh, yep, the 28th and came back the 29th. Um, so we only had a little over 10 days to get the, the resource ready that we needed. It was a very short time, but we were able to gather um, about a half a tractor truck, half a tractor trailer load of resources to take down with us. Um, there's people in the community that donated their time and the truck to take all the resource down. It was amazing. Um, there's a lot more to do. There's a lot of devastation, as you can see on this, on the pictures that Eamon put together. Um, it was. It was um, it was a enormous amount of devastation we saw when we were down there. Um, I don't quite know how to put it into words, but we know that uh, there's much more that that needs done. There's much more that can take place, and um, and we we pray for wisdom on how on what we can do. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Much love. Have a great night. Even neighbors start collecting stuff for us. large amount of uh, soup, we picked up a few pallets and more stuff. Thanks to uh, Frank Rickelson and Nazareth for their huge donations and support toward our trip of disaster relief to Kentucky.
We have to save boxes every time. <laughs> and only the good boxes. There's also some toy things in here, too. How did you carry it? It was like... Let's talk. Oh. I just want to say a big thanks to our brother Frank Wilkinson. He's not just helping us with the food drive for Kentucky, but he supported us for the trip too. So big thanks to him, his family. You know, our pleasure, it's, Adrian, it's, our pleasure. It was it was such an amazing things you know you've done for we our community. I know you do a lot for our community, and, and now you do it for Kentucky. So you know what? Uh, there were many people who were there for us when we needed it, uh, sure. but we couldn't do it without people like you. So <laughs> we know that. We know that. You guys are Thank come you. on in. Thank you. Uh, this is we've been collecting for two months now, and this is the third pickup of goods. So stuff went to the community health action pantry. Yes. And Stuff's now heading out, and we have more yeah. that'll be collected. That's but amazing. thank you to our patrons who've been so, very, so supportive of, of what That's we do. That's true. The support is well, always important. Yeah. I mean, this is I don't know how many I don't know how many pounds of food we have, but it'll go to go to this at least least. two, three thousand pounds at least. Yeah. God bless. No, thank, thank you. you. There's also Hi, some toys in there. Yeah, we're, we're gonna take them on. Thank Merry you so much, honey, Lee. for helping. Yeah, we're gonna take oh. them. This trailer is full, and tomorrow we're going to fill up the, the truck. Rest. Yeah. Right. Ayan still didn't get back to me, but she was. Okay. Oh, no, that's it. She is. No, I did The last part. We had to get the truck ready so we did change the oil and we did maintenance on it. I had some nice time with the grizzly, the doggy. As you can see in the picture, I got early to Forest Baptist Church and immediately I start testing the drone because I was planning to take it to uh, to uh, this was Kentucky uh, disaster relief. Footage, so it footage was amazing to see Baptist church. how a small church does a lot. This church has a big heart and because of Pastor Sue, she's such an amazing person. Bless her heart and bless her congregations. Thank you.
we are here back in uh, the water we're gonna put in the tractor trailer and that's our tractor trailer there the best steps here thanks to forest baptist for buying the water thank you Pastor. Um, december 27 it snowed in pennsylvania and immediately it turned into ice so it was really hard to drive even our truck gets stuck what can i tell you people this is our uh, angel glenn who's gonna drive the tractor trailer to kentucky glenn what do you want to say uh, i wish him all well yes and it's gonna be it's gonna be something we can to help him out yeah look it's it's really hot day today but we're gonna do it it's uh, it's a snow and ice the roads are closed here but it's gonna be possible with God. Bless you all, bye-bye. God bless you, Max. Thank you. And Sharon, Samson is enjoying it too. He has to lock the door from the back. Does he know that? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I have, uh, we are at Royal King here in PA. We have the store manager, Brennan. He's an amazing guy. He's gonna say something. Uh, yeah, we just wanted to uh, help you guys out, donate some water. Um, along with uh, giving you guys a, a good a good setup if you got some water you can help out your disaster relief and uh, anything you might use that for. Um, we just we like helping out Christian organizations and um, we hope that's a, good, a big help for you guys. You're amazing. And thanks to Pastor Sue for purchasing most of it and you guys donated some of it too. Thank you.
just here at Rural King getting water. They blessed us with a lot of water here. Um, we're taking that down to Kentucky. And Thanks to Pastor Sue for purchase uh, most of it. Say all that again. It. Thanks for Pastor Sue for purchase it. Yeah, getting okay. the water. Thank you, Pastor Always. Sue, for doing that. Of yeah. course, Baptist there, and we're yeah. It's amazing. We're really blessed, man. We're yeah. we're gonna do it. So it's gonna happen. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna bless the people. Thank you so Thank much, you. guys. Jake, what are you doing? Loading this trailer up, man. We got a 53 foot trailer and uh, we're loading her all up for the Kentucky disaster relief. Oh, right. Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Yep, her. Excited? Oh yeah. We're ready. This is a plan. He's gonna drive the trailer. He donated his timing and uh, even the trailer. He donated everything here. It's amazing. Oh god, work it out. This is Cross Give Back with Half Table Man. Jacob here speaking. We're on the I 80 headed towards Kentucky, right outside of Ohio here. Fully Baptist Church. We have uh, Fully our, Baptist. our faithful uh, Gaiman driving here. We got Alan. Hey! And myself. And uh, uh, anything to say, Eamon? Yeah, of course. Well, we think. All our partners, you know, who's doing this disaster with us. Pastor Sue from uh, Forest Baptist Church. Big thanks to her and her uh, congregations. Big thanks to Alan, Schimmel, and uh, Jacob Scott from Cross Give Back. Big thanks to Denise and Bart Condon. They've, they've been amazing. They've been helping us. And big thanks to that truck driver who's in front of us. You can see. Glenn and Marlene, they do an amazing job. They're driving that tractor trailer that we filled up yesterday to uh, Kentucky with us. So we are on the road now. We're, uh, we left a couple hours ago and we're still uh, somewhere. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be an amazing uh, journey for all of us. We will be learning a lot too and uh, it's not like we don't know, we know we've been in disaster areas, but uh, we always could learn things, what's going on. Special, this disaster was not expected. So, a special December, you know, tornadoes in December. So everybody was caught off guard and uh, it, everybody was in vacations or uh, Christmas and all that. And that's what hurt the most because uh, they're gonna need the help. They're gonna need the supplies now. This is the time. So we are rushing to them with the supplies and we thank all our donors and suppliers and um, supporters for doing an amazing job. This journey would not be capable without that. It does really cost a lot of funding to do it. And uh, we've been burning money like crazy. But it's good. It's good for the Lord. You know, He's He's happy, and uh, we always say if we reach one person, uh, that will be enough. But we're gonna reach thousands of them. So we're gonna be in the disaster area very soon, and we will update you people. Bless you all. Thank you. Any to say? Um... No. No. We're good. <laughs> You're good. Hey, Over now, guys. Yeah. Every two months we set up and we do it. If Glenn wants to help us, which is great. So I checked the oil. The oil is good, Jake. Is it? Yeah. No, I changed the oil. Uh, so I was thinking maybe it leaked out, but no, it's the oil there. 
just, you know, it's a brain. Yeah, we do mobile one for this truck. You, you grow to know them yeah. simply by their hardship, yeah. you know. Yeah. For, for people who doesn't know, this is Marlene, English. Yes. Not French, English. English. And this is Eglin, <laughs> English, her husband. He's, uh, he's, he's uh, the man who's driving the tractor trailer to Kentucky. He's We're almost there. The and here's our brother, Alan and Jacob. Oh, yeah. And... Um, very, you know, we stopped here three hours before yeah. Kentucky yeah. to have something to eat. Yeah. Don't forget and it's that. amazing how Marlene and uh, Glenn, they step out of their comfort zone and they want to do this voluntarily to drive. They don't want to even fuel money for the truck. Bless their heart, bless their business. What company is this, Glenn? So people has to know. Heritage Motor Freight. Hey. Heritage, Heritage Motor Freight. Freight. Heritage motor freight you know if you hear this and you are in pennsylvania please hire them they're amazing people and uh, i don't know what to tell you you know it's uh, it's been a tough day for me because we're on the road and uh, they called me from the hospital that's my mom was sick very sick so i leave it to god you know and uh, we pray for that so Bless you all. We're gonna help strangers we don't know, but we drive into them. Glenn, thank you so much, Glenn. So now reality is gonna hit you. Reality is gonna hit you. Be ready. Don't get scared. You see, there's no damage, right? There's no damage, respectfully for the, you know, the one who passed. Just imagine if it hit over there. All right, reality is gonna hit right now. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. Look at your right and left, slowly. You see anything? 
Do you see anything? Huh? God bless you, Max. Thank you. And Sam Samson is enjoying it too. We are here in Kentucky and I am just lost for words. house is completely gone in the neighboring house. There is just debris everywhere. Here you can see the house was blowing away and the siding. This is an aerial footage by a drone. We, uh, we flew it over the affected area in Dawson Springs. As you can see, it uh, was horrible. You know, we were so emotional when we were watching and we were, when we were in the area. It's not easy.
God bless you, Max. Thank you. And Sham Samson is enjoying it too. Here you can see the siding of a house was wrapped around a tree and that stopped Heavy it. missionaries were it's very brought dramatic. to the area to do a cleanup in Dawson Springs. The tank is the only thing didn't blow away in this community. It's amazing to see the tank with the US flag hanging from it. What a blessing.
so this house was spared thank god this house was spared this one halfway we're gonna try to bless them with food and supplies here and the whole community the town is 70 percent was taken out God bless you, Max. Thank you. And Sham Samson is enjoying it too.
See, you know, the house, it's written on it okay, but how okay is that? The whole, I mean, look, the big damage here. But come across the street, look what's going on here. The whole house is gone and only the concrete slab left. And the car has been hit or uh, the wind took it. It's, people's lives were shattered in this area. As you can see, you know, insulation of the trees. It's, uh, I don't know what to say, really. I think this area is gonna need our help for many, many, many months to come. Probably a year, a year and a half. Here is somebody's life here. And you can see only concrete left in the house. Only the concrete you could see here. The whole house was blown away. Our question is, you know, we pray that the people were alive in this house. It's ridiculous. Even the concrete here was blowing away. Can't you see? Concrete was blowing away. Oh, they had the pets. I hope the pets are alive here. Psst, 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 psst. There's nothing. Psh, 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 psh. Hello? Meow? Are you alive? We don't see any animals. It's sad when we don't, that means, you know, the bad thing happened. And you could see water tanks blowing away, heaters, air conditioning, the whole house is gone, totally. And uh, this is ridiculous. It is sad and uh, we're, uh, we're going to, uh, in 15, 20 minutes, we're going to unload the supplies we brought. We brought a uh, tractor trailer and we came in our truck and then Denise and Bart came in another truck to help us. We, we couldn't do this without Pastor Sue, Jake, Alan, everybody, all our donors, suppliers, this is because of you guys, you know, we, we reach out to strangers here to tell them that God didn't forget about them. And, uh, yeah, Jake and Alan's over there. The amount of devastation is bad. 70% of this town is gone. We are in Dawson Creek. I mean Dawson Spring, Kentucky. And uh, a huge area. It remind me when we went to uh, Oklahoma, but the devastation here is a huge because it hit over 260 miles spread areas. So it hit many, many towns and area. Mayfield to all this, so. Somebody's truck was there. Somebody's life was there. Their propane tanks, you could see. I don't know what to tell you here. It's, it's ridiculous. All right, people. Somebody's ball left. I hope that boy is alive. We pray for his family. Yep, the ball was, was there. Here you go. Jake, I'm live. You wanna say something? Are you are you holding up? We were we were really here. Yeah, the damage is enormous. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where to begin. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a huge. Yeah. It's sad for all of us to see this. Yeah. You know, look at the tree, how it did it. Here you go, the tree. Look, that tree, the wind took. We pray that 
many were saved here in this area. God knows only, you know, reality is something else here. Alan, you want to say anything of real life here? I'm at a loss for words. This is just, uh, it's crazy. Devastation. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to cry, this is the time to cry. I'm telling you, yeah. If you have any, any tears left, you know, let it go. This is the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're learning a lot from this. This is, we're learning a lot. We're learning that we're going to have always supplies handy, you know, to uh, send it over. All right, people. Oh, look at that. Somebody's helmet there. How sad that is. Oh, yeah. All right, people, bless you all. Pray for the people here in Kentucky. Support them when you can. Bless you all. Bye-bye. Kentucky, we're uh, in Dawson uh, Spring. Here's my brother, uh, Alan. Hey. So uh, we've been working for almost 10 days for this. And the damage, uh, it's really a lot here. 70% of the town is wiped out here we're gonna show you just a little bit you know from what we see in here and uh, later we're gonna show you drone footage of uh, what's happening uh, big thanks to Pastor Sue for supporting us for uh, for her leadership and as you can see you know here's looks like it was uh, not sure what was shop uh, you know and they're cleaning it and uh, yeah, we're waiting. Uh, our tractor trailer will be here shortly and we're gonna download the supplies and the food and all of what we've been working for that. And um, yeah, take a look guys, it's, it's really bad. So it looks like we might come back a few more times. We'll see how we could do it. It took a lot of effort to do this, so. Basically, as you can see, they are cleaning up the area with heavy machinery. We, we could enter the area because we are a disaster team. That's why, you know, we do what we do. So, it's really bad. Bless you all. And uh, this is what the Lord wants us to reach the needy in this community. Bye-bye. Supplies gonna go with the First Baptist Church. And, uh, yep, we're waiting to unload. And that's Jake, that's Alan, and that's our tractor trailer and our driver who donated everything, you know, to drive. 
drive the length of one parapet order. Bless you. Uh, we have an amazing lady here who stood for her community. Her name is Sherry. Sherry, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Sherry Nicholson. I'm with Impact Outreach. We're a local in the area. We're an organization that comes into disaster relief. I lived here for about 10 years and now I'm in Clarksville about 45 minutes away. But came back to serve our friends and our community. And uh, there's about uh, 18 lives that were lost in here. Those 18 lives. Uh, Dawson Springs itself is a community of about 2,600 people. Eighteen people out of twenty six hundred. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, we just uh, want to be able to be the hands and feet of Jesus on our people. Amen. And we are going to love them with the love of Jesus and meet those basic necessities. Yes. As it is going to be long term in rebuilding and restoring. It will take and probably a couple of years. Yes, sir. At least. It will. It will. It'll take well, a little we're going to promise you we're going to be back. Well, thank you. We appreciate And we're going to bring so teams too. That's yes. amazing. Well, thank yeah. you all we'll, so much. We'll hook up with you and uh, Pastor Sue from uh, the first uh, yes, from uh, Forest Baptist. We'll get we connected. We appreciate y'all. It's a huge blessing. It's amazing. Sure. We drove miles and miles. Yes, sir. <laughs> y'all did. We keep hearing stories oh, like Lord. that, and we uh, it's such a blessing. You. Well, thank you let for me, answering me. yes to the Lord. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's amazing. It's amazing, really. It's you know, like you feel you feel the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes. Sherry's gonna update us about the tornado and uh, here, here, let let her speak. Yeah. The uh, the tornado was approximately 169 miles wide and seven miles high, so the debris in the path was very extensive. So 169, the width of it or the, the length of it? The the width. The width. Widespread. It's Widespread. How far, and it's how all, how much length it went inland? I don't I don't remember how long it was it was the largest on history right. that we have in the United States from from my understanding and the reports that I've gotten um, I know from Mayfield all the way to Kingston Springs right. from Tennessee. the west of Kentucky to the yes. east of Kentucky to Middle Tennessee from to the western, middle yeah. yes Western Kentucky to Middle Tennessee crazy and crazy so, we never yeah. seen this yeah, this it I've is, been to Oklahoma historical. to Alabama but yeah yes sir it's historical for sure Here we're having the supplies getting off. We're gonna put it in a trailer here. Here's our uh, friend Denise. Denise, thank you for coming. Her and Bob, they worked so hard the other day. And we're gonna unload the supplies here. Bot is ready. He's gonna do it. Yeah, like toothbrush socks. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can, we can so take all the money, Yeah, we can take know, a box. Have, it's hurt. amazing. We so we here? start unloading now. His bot. Uh, he, he drove with us. That's Jake. Yeah. There. Yeah, this is the cereal. Introduce yourself, Mr. Ron Gentry. This man was helping us unloading the water. You know, we had seven pounds of water. And we appreciate, we appreciate all the water, all the donations, and, and uh, we appreciate all the good people that donated and sent items down here. And uh, we just invite you down to visit us sometime when you get the opportunity. You want us to come here? You have a tornado yeah. here, sir. We've had a tornado, but hey, we, we might, still welcome you. You might come you. visit us at the same time here. Yeah, come on down. We've got great parks around and stuff, so come on down and see us. All right, you got yeah. it. Who do we have here? Alan, Jacob, Bart. Bart came with us. Denise is on the and side. We have, we have amazing people from FEMA yep. here. Don Huber. Kevin. 
Kevin, right. and uh, and it's funny because uh, they know our friend uh, D Minter. <laughs> we love you, D. We miss you here. We were looking to see you. So, you know, we're gonna pray for the people here. You know, hopefully they're gonna recover fast. And the way it looks, it's it's gonna be a long time, very long time. Yeah, bless you all. <laughs>